Good morning everybody. I got my sunglasses on and my beanie because uh, we're heading up into the mountains of Murray. Uh, so on the first trip here in Pakistan, unfortunately I didn't get to reach uh, Murray. It was literally like the perfect time to, to head up in, in that way because it was uh, approaching summer and everything. Uh, but now it's a little bit cooler up there. It's around like 10 degrees during the day and like zero degrees at night. So I got a beanie as you guys saw, but I'm super excited to go up there because I love hill stations. I love like mountains and everything. I love being up in the cold for a few days, not too long, but just a couple days just to reset kind of the body. But we're heading up there. It's about like an hour drive from uh, Islamabad. We got uh, Mr. Taxi Man. Salam alaikum. Aapka naam kya Gulfraz Aman. Kya? Maman Gulfraz. All right. We got my man taking us up from uh, Islamabad. It was, uh, I booked it through like a hotel that I was staying at. So it was 4,500 rupees. Uh, I just paid by card and everything. And yeah, so 4,500 rupees around like, off the top of my head, like 35 US maybe, $35. It's like an hour or like hour and a half up there, like 40 kilometers. So I'm excited. It's definitely like one place that a lot of people have told me to visit. And I know it's gonna be super beautiful. So we're gonna go check it out. Cello, let's uh, bring you all along for the journey. What did you say the name of this place was? This? Yeah. Barakong. Barakong. Yes. All right, so we're like, been driving for like 20 minutes. Just going through all, all the streets and stuff, you know? We saw all the, uh, the chai wallas and uh, all the fruit sellers just like half a kilometer back. But I'm itching for just some, some like street food snack. I'm trying to like look out for something cool, something I've never tried before. You can see all the like fruit people selling their uh, vegetables and everything, fruit markets. And uh, here, maybe like a bus stop. There you are, Barakaro, bus stop. And there's just so much action going on all the time here. You got peanuts being sold, fruit. You got uh, cement being made or like cement bricks. So it's super cool out here. Still got my beanie on. I haven't even looked in a mirror if I look good with this. So I might look like an absolute fool with, uh, with this on. How long does it take to get to Murray? How many hours? One and a half. One and a half hour. Okay. That is a Pakistani time or? Pakistani time. Pakistani time. Yeah. So like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. What's the time now? Right now it's uh, 11.22. So let's say 11. We left at like 11. 12.30, 1 o'clock. If anything after one o'clock, then I was right with Pakistani time. Let's uh, let's see what we come across. Coming up to a checkpoint, or maybe a, a toll gate. Oh, it's a, a gate toll. I've been to. Uh, I'm too used to Iraq. Whenever I see these like gates and stuff, I just immediately think. Uh, army <laughs> checkpoint <laughs> and like searches and stuff like that it's just like embedded into me after the iraq series so uh yeah i guess it's just a, a ticket to get uh into maybe maybe because we left like the district of islamabad maybe something like that but uh yeah we're getting in look how like blue the sky is it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful day i tell you what like islamabad has some of the nicest weather honestly Apart from like middle of summer, it's super hot, but just in general, it's just like a really good, like a, a really good good temperature, good climate kind of thing. But yeah, we're heading up into the mountains now. White or black? Brown. Brown? Oh, you have. All right, you can taste test both. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the white chocolate. Thank you. No worries my little goodie bag that the hotel gave me. Oh, that's good buffing. Gotcha. Yeah, he needs help. Uh, They're asking for Pani. Pani, Pani. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. You have broken down. Wow. Do you need Pani? Yes. Up put kabi English. Yeah, I have two Pani. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta help out the local citizens here, right? When you can. All right. We are like three quarters of the way to Murray. 
Oh, the world is so different without sunglasses on. I'm not sure if it looks better or not. Oh, it's so different. Uh, all right. These fellows have broken down or something. Or maybe they need a... Uh... Oh, I think they need new coolant, maybe. But they were like waving us down, similar to like what you do like if you're hitchhiking. They're like waving us down. So we pulled over. Oh, you can see it's kind of it's steaming a bit. Oh, <laughs> it's boiling. Yeah, it's boiling. Yeah. <laughs> eep, eep. Oh, yeah. wow. They definitely need coolant. It's all these mountains. We've been going up for like the past 10 kilometers, just up okay. and up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Like going up these mountains, you, it just wears the engine out. You know, high revs. You need to give the accelerator a bit of a push. But it's getting pretty damn cold up here, so I might chuck my jacket on in a second. And I think in like 20 minutes or so, we'll be in the Murray region. Look how beautiful it is though. The sun is beaming out. We got beautiful trees. Beautiful skies. Can't get much better than this, can ya? Alright guys, we're getting our first look of Murray. That's Murray up the very top. Can't even really see it right now. Just because of where we are. But uh it's pretty damn high. How high is Murray? Altitude? Like 1,000 meters? Maybe. Maybe. But it looks just absolutely beautiful, the scenery. I'll actually, I'll chuck my camera outside. Maybe you guys can see. Picture. Picture, all right. Yeah. Very good. One minute. One minute, we go to the next spot. Yeah. yeah. Next spot is good. All right. Oh, is that a man selling corn? Mm. It is corn. Yeah, darbar. Oh, you know it's corn o'clock time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're just like. This is Murray. Murray. Murray, sir. This Murray. Murray. Oh, that is Murray over there. Murray City. And what is this? Ah, yes. The, uh, the name? Nam? Is a Jika Kalish. Ah. Well, oh, there's even McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> yes, Go get ourselves a Big Mac. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, so beautiful. Here, we'll get a photo. Me and you. Smile. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to eat uh, corn. Yeah. Corn on the cob. Is tea? Nay, nay, nay. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm God luck. <laughs> All right. It's corn time. I see a corn seller. I tell you what, it's damn cold up here. Oh, is it? Is it cooked corn? Oh, nay. Salam alaikum. Oh, we have the corn kernels, the corn. Oh, I'm too tall for the shop. What else is going on over here? Walter Mendy. Is that pakora? Assalamu alaikum. Pakora? Ah, it is. I remember this stuff. <laughs> That is pakora, right? Yes, pakora. Ah. Yes. How much? Kisa, kitne ka? Ekso bis me pao. Ekso one hundred. One twenty. One twenty for a whole piece. One pao. Ah, uh, it is fresh, or I will get a. He can he can make fresh one. Okay, fresh. Yeah, fresh. Okay. Yeah, ek. Uh, ek pao banana. Bird. Inside. Inside, okay, shukriya. Would you like uh, this, side, this side, okay? Yeah, we sit outside. Inside is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we'll, we'll check out the inside. Oh, okay, back side. We'll, we'll go check. inside. 
Oh, there's even a, a hut. Oh, all right. Big gap. I'm not sure how much I'm willing to test this wood out here. <laughs> this is uh, this is cool. Very good. Good location. Maybe two people is not good for here. So beautiful. All right, we go outside. But. I think he's making it fresh for us. Fresh okay. pakora. What thing is that? Is it tea? Uh, chai. Yeah. Uh, do do chai. Two. All right, so the fresh pakoras are being made. Oil's being added into the hot, uh, hot pan. Here's all the batter. So um, basically what a pakora is, is like bits of onion, bits of uh, vegetables, bits of like chilies, capsicum, it's all like in this batter and then it's deep fried in there. Uh -huh. And they America, Australia. <laughs> but a, a common thing in Pakistan is like in the, in Australia at least for example, if you have your, like your own table, sort of like your group or your family is going to be sitting at that table, but it's good because the locals come and sit with you here, you can chat to them. Uh, and you know, it's not just like you isolating yourself. You really get to see everybody. There is, oh here. So this is exactly what I was speaking about. You got the uh, onions, you got maybe even potato, like just a mixture of vegetables. Fresh. Fresh, yeah. very fresh. Yes. What is the white stuff? Salt or flour? Mm. Salt. Mm. Fresh. Uh, kya hai? Masala. Masala. Very nice. He adds all the masala in there. And meanwhile, in the background, it's all getting heated up. So, a big handful of masala, just like that. Get the spices. Perfect. That is chili spice. Look at all the chilies that he just added there. It's definitely going to be a, a spicy meal with this one, but at least it's like a big quantity, so it's not all in one uh, sort of like small portion. Oh wow, I have no idea what that is. You can just see like all of these things here, just different herbs, different spices different little nuts and oh there's a big smell super herbal and here's all the flour I think this get that gets added so pretty simple process and obviously he's made it for many years he's an expert in this the pakora I love pakora I remember having it in uh, in Pakistan heaps of times I had it in India as well it's just such a, a good snack and they're always just on the side of the road here you can literally, look, they're selling them here as well. All of these little stores or the, the dubbers on the side of the road sell these little snacks. You can just pop in 120 rupees or so. That's uh, just less than a dollar. So great price for a cheeky little snack. Oh, yeah. So this is where everything gets mixed in. You can see the potatoes, the chilies, the onions. And a bit of water. And the whole point of this part is just to mix everything in, get all the masala, get all the flour, get all the water, get all the herbs and spices mixed evenly throughout. And then from here, I believe it'll uh, go from there, and then uh, then it'll be into the the deep fryer, and it'll be super fresh. Like literally, this is as fresh as it can get. And that's a really good thing about coming to like Pakistan and stuff. All the food is like straight from like vegetable form, cooking form and then straight into your mouth form. So fresh as it gets here. All of these like little stores and everything just made out of just natural materials, you know, wood held up. 
with the frame and then uh, just a bit of tin tin foil to keep out all the water and everything. Obviously like in this part of uh, Pakistan it, uh, it gets damn cold in the winter so this will be like snowing in uh, the middle of winter so you have to keep everything insulated that's why you have extra bits of padding and everything uh, but it's super just like kind of like DIY just you know exactly what you need no fancy materials no fancy cement or anything just a couple of nails a couple of uh, bits of wood and some uh, sheets of aluminium and then that's your little your store that you can set up and the whole thing is, is the same kind of like different stores set along this main road Good, acha. <laughs> so the mix has been made. It originally started off as a, a whitey paste. Now it's uh, got the masala. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. The burner's been turned on. Fire has begun, and now this oil here is going to start getting super hot and the big bucket that uh, you'll see where is the big bucket oh there it is right there so all uh, the pre-made mixture and everything it'll get put in there and then that's uh that's how you know it's fresh i love it it's gonna be so delicious crunchy crispy onions potatoes doesn't get any better than that, does it? All right. And just like that, they're spread across evenly. And the batter is going to be fried away to the crispiness. Oh, it already smells so good. It smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. Just, as you can imagine, all those beautiful like spices and everything being uh, deep fried like they are. And then you can see how quickly that heats up because the, the oil is just so hot. And there's actually like an art to making this. You know, you can see he gets it from one side, puts it over to the other, make sure that they're, they're separated. Make sure that they're getting cooked evenly throughout the oil. You know, not everybody can just come and do this. This actually takes years of skill, years of knowing exactly what temperature to put the uh, the oil at, exactly how much batter to add, exactly how much masala to add, uh, and then you get the delicious end piece, which I'm about to indulge in. That's gonna be good. Almost got them all. Almost, almost. There we are. All the oil gets strained out. The little bits get picked up by the other one. And that's your pakora, everybody. Those are the, the old ones and they're the fresh ones that we're gonna eat and enjoy. Okay, everybody, here is the pakora. Pakora. We got, this is a ch chutney? Yes. Chutney. So we got pakora, fresh. Literally, you just saw it being made just over there. Fresh pakora this here and see what our first thoughts are I love the potato one so let's get it oh it's so crispy super crispy let's try it without the chutney first give it a taste test here in uh, in Murray oh. so crispy oh it's kind of like a, a better version of a french fry you get like spices yeah, little bits of herbs. You got the masala in there that you can definitely taste. That is so delicious. Let's try a bit with the chutney on there. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, that's a little bit spicy. Ooh, that is a bit spicy. But these are so good. Just your easy snack on the side of the road. Just when you're on your road trip. Get a, get a couple of uh, pakoras into you. Oh, 
the masala you can really taste that. That's really damn good. Good taste. Yeah. Masala good. Yeah. Look how delicious these are. You got a little bit of onion in that one. With the uh, the potato. Man. I'm loving this. These are so good. And because you know, and you just literally saw them get freshly made, you know they're super fresh. They haven't been sitting there for ages. They're literally straight out of the pan and into your mouth. Very good. You can't have some pakora on the side of the street with some traditional Pakistani chai. Yes. Great combination, good combination. Yes. Fresh. Oh, that's so delicious. I love how, you know, if you go to different chai wellers around Pakistan, uh, each one has like, kind of like a unique taste. They have their own unique touch. And this is like literally the perfect blend, you know, your, your pakora, side of the road sitting down. Eat that. And then get it down with a bit of chai. Mmm. Damn good. Finish off the chai here. Yes. Mm. Very good. Yes. Cello? Yes. Alright. Let's make sure I pay here. I think maybe like doso. Doso? Doso? 200. 200. Yeah, that's okay. He can, uh, he can keep the change. Change? Yes. He can, he can have. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shukriya, bye. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Your keys. Okay. <laughs> we need the keys to drive. <laughs> Alright. Good little snack on the side of the mountain here. Let's uh, head on to Mari, which I believe it's just over that way. Making our way up into the mountains now. Murray is actually quite big. So I booked kind of like on the upper top for one night, which you'll see in this hotel in a moment. Um, but I think tomorrow we'll move down sort of the central area. But this hotel is super nice view and everything. Obviously the higher you up, the higher up you are, the, uh, the better view you have. Unfortunately, these hotels are being built right now, so we don't have a view that I can show you just yet, but I think there is a gap just here. Is there? Not really, but like over there is just mountains. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look out, yeah, look how nice that looks. It honestly reminds me, in 2019, I was uh, in uh, Madhya Pradesh, like in Rakompu. The Kalpa area, super nice area in India. And this is a pretty similar vibes, you know, beautiful mountains, small roads that are up, <laughs> and like similar trees and kind of like landscape and everything, but look how beautiful that is. Wow. So gorgeous. Assalamu alaikum. Checking in. The Mont the Montcalm? Yes. Acha. Open. Shukriya bye. It's a steep uh, steep driveway. The car will make it up good for us? Yes. Yes. You gotta put the metal to the pedal ah. to the metal. Oh <laughs> There we are, we're getting up there. Nice. Alright. Nice. Oh it seems pretty cool. Look at the views we have though. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. Hey, I, uh... There you go. Uh, another uh, is uh, Otolis. Yeah, I, I, I'll text you, okay? When I need... We'll it. give you Otolis. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Have I got everything? Okay, yeah, that's I, good. Uh, contact phone number. Yeah, I, I call video. you. Okay. Shukriya, bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Welcome to the humble abode. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm checking in. Hello. Hi. How are you? I know you are a blogger. Uh, 
I know you, sir. I'm always watching your vlogs. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I'm emotional. <laughs> Does that mean I can get a room upgrade? Of course. <laughs> I think I did book a, a really good room, though. Uh, so you're... Which room they're putting you, sir? Uh, I think I can give you... I think I had a, a suite with mountain view. With mountain view. But if there is one uh, better than that, I'll happily yeah. accept it. I think I can give you the owner. Can you take Sir to, to Sirig? I'll give, uh, give you choices. I'll okay. show you two rooms. Ah. Uh, one is uh, 211, but he, he is tall, he cannot. Uh, 209, and also uh, show him to Sirig, yes. Welcome, sir. Thank you. It's uh, pleasure it to be, be here. Your, it will be our complimentary <laughs> to you. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. I know. From I, my side. I need. Oh, I need to pay though. I uh, no no. I will. I will tell you both. You will be very happy. Really? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh my God! That's unexpected. <laughs> I just saw your blog. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you were in the uh, um, uh, uh, Ascobis. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Yes. Yeah, Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. I just watched your blog. Oh ah, my god, are you watching you. <laughs> Do you need my passport or anything? Uh, yes, sir. I just want to put thank a copy. You. So, what, what is your name? Katie. Katie. Yes, sir. Oh, my chocolates. Yeah. Ah, I have my chocolates. So, how long you been, uh, you will be staying here with us, sir? Yeah. Just, Give me um, one card. And what's your agenda? Uh, what's your uh, itinerary here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I was going to plan that when I got here. Okay. Um. Here's your passport. Thank you. And uh, just uh, they will show you two rolls. Yeah. And, and whichever one I like. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. <laughs> Another hotel review that I am known at. <laughs> I promise, I genuinely did book this. I can even uh, show you it on my phone. I booked it on booking.com. Hundred and like, twenty-one Australian dollars. But hey, if they're giving it to me for free, I ain't complaining. So, here we are. We got the escort up into the room. So we got two zero, what's this one? Two zero eight, the honeymoon suite. Oh. Too bad I'm not on a honeymoon. I'm actually gonna check these out off camera and then I'll uh, choose one and then show you guys. Sorry for the uh, delay. <laughs> All right, I checked out the honeymoon suite. Didn't give you guys a sneak peek yet, but we're gonna go check the other one. The owner's suite, look how cool this is. All right. All right, I've made my decision. We're doing the honeymoon suite. Cause it kind of has like, it's a, a bigger space. I think, I can't remember what one I did book. I booked whatever was on booking.com as like, uh, like suite with mountain view. Which one is better, honeymoon or owners? Which one would you choose? Honeymoon is better. All right. So I've made the good choice. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely better. Yeah, nice. Reception number is zero, sir. Zero. Yes. Okay, perfect. Here, I give this to you guys too. No problem, sir. No. Thank you, thank you. Split it evenly. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I decided to go with the honeymoon suite. I got to choose between this one and the owner's suite. I just realized I should have shown the other one if I wasn't going to stay there. So the other one wasn't as good as this one. So this is what you're going to get, but. It's the honeymoon suite, so hopefully uh, everything's been cleaned in here because, you know, it's for honeymoon couples and you can imagine what's going on down here after uh, people get married. <laughs> so <laughs> let's hope that the, uh, the sheets and everything are clean, but it's a beautiful room. So I'm going to show you guys around. This is uh, like around. I got upgraded because the receptionist knew me. So I was originally paying like a hundred US dollars for the uh, like uh, a suite with a view a mountain view so I'd say this is probably like a hundred and fifty dollars or so um, like US to, to book so let's uh, check it out this is what you walk into like immediately honestly it's like such a cool like open style kind of room you got 
the bed, which we'll do a bed test later on. These funky like pillars on each corner of the uh, the bed here. We got a little sofa there. <laughs> I'll be honest, I feel like that isn't necessary, but based on what the room is called, I think it's uh, an addition for that. <laughs> but yeah, this is the, the room, you know? We got like open windows here, two, three open windows, looking out to the beautiful view that Murray has to offer. And yeah, it's kind of like 180 degrees of just like mountain views. And we'll hop out on the balcony shortly, but it's just absolutely beautiful, stunning. Such like cool, crisp air up here. We've got a nice table, a nice kind of like king, um, like a king. Oh, that's actually kind of comfy. Usually these ones are like super uncomfortable, but this is actually super nice. So you can sit back, relax. And I just noticed literally looking up, I love the aesthetic of wooden, like anything. This just looks so cool, like looking straight up to the wooden roof. It's just, it adds just like such a, a different like architectural look. It looks so sick. But yeah. Let's go into the bathroom, my uh, favorite part of uh, the room. We've got the TV here. The boat race, nearest stations. Boat race 1923, Putney Bridge, Hammersmith and Chiswick Park. No idea what that is. But here we have the bathroom. Got a couple uh, stains there, I don't know what the hell that's from but nonetheless here's the bathroom we've got the toilet and of course you got the bum gun so we'll give that a cheeky test all right look how central like centrally located that one is you know a bum gun has to be a small diameter you can't be having a bum gun that has like a, a massive radius or else it's just going to go everywhere this one you can direct like straight at like the, the certain parts you need and it's even got a bit of recoil look at this <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't even like if I just go like normal hand and do it <laughs> It's funny, it's funny. It's recoil. There's recoil on the bum gun. Who would have thought and then in here? We got a unique kind of like separate part to the shower. So you get your full room in here It's like a separate bathroom for the shower in here and above we got a Wooden something but yeah, this is super sick Let's head on out to uh, the outside area because I only literally just realized I was looking around I'm like there's chairs there there's a balcony how the hell do I get out there's like no there's no door but I realized what you do is you just open this up like this and then you slide this one across and then just like that you got a uh, you got access to the outside oh the, the air is so crisp and nice here you can sit on your chair drinking your chai Looking out to, to Murray, this is just like such a beautiful and gorgeous view. We're so high up as well, it's kind of like crazy. But we can walk all the way around here. And uh, this is where we came up with the car, that little driveway there. And then uh, that road leads back down to how we uh, got up to the top here. So, such a gorgeous property and it's so peaceful. You know, the call to prayer was just playing there. Um, but. It's just like you can hear birds chirping, just so like ceramic, you know? That's a word rack, right? Ceramic? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost for words. And then we even got the pizzeria over there. So yeah, this is this is the room, the honey room, the honeymoon suite. Super nice. Uh, I'll actually check on booking.com right now to see how much uh, this usually is if I was to book it. Oh. Of course, how rude of me. I can't not do a bed test. How are we gonna do this bed test? I'll have to move this. All right, bed test time here in the honeymoon suite, but I'm not on a honeymoon. How depressing, I'm in a honeymoon suite and nobody's with me. <laughs> oh, there's a spider web. Let's do it. Ah. Bed's pretty hard, which is actually like a common thing I found in Pakistan. Beds are, are typically a lot harder than other parts of the world. But the pillows, oh. oh, the pillows are nice. That's good. Oh, that's a nice pillow, yeah. And we've got plenty more pillows if needed. So yeah, I think we'll have a good, good sleep here looking up to the wooden, what are they called? Floorboards and the window just over there. And I hear people outside of my door. I think the chai might be here. Oh, inshallah, it's the chai. 
Salam alaikum. Oh, chai time. Yes. Perfect. We'll go sit out on the balcony and drink our chai. How good. Whoa, this is just amazing. Whoa. Milk chai. Absolutely perfect. Let's take it outside. Ho, ho, ho. Don't think it can get much better than this, can it? Oh, that's delicious. That is absolutely delicious. And look at the view I got, guys. Oh, not much, not many things in life get better than this. Looking out to the mountains of Pakistan, a bit of clouds on the horizon, and a chai to top it all off. All right, everybody, as you can see, it's dark. <laughs> There is good reason to that, but I just went down into the Murray like center area, filmed another video there, which we, which you'll be seeing next. Super dope place. I love this place. Murray is so sick. I'm gonna hop outside. It is damn cold, honestly. So freaking cold. But how sick does this room look at night? It's super cool. Got the white tiles, the wooden roof, and yeah, it looks really, really cool, but. At night time, you guys obviously won't be able to like see much, to be honest, but it just it looks ab absolutely stunning. If uh, you look with your eyes, just like flashes of lights. The sky is so clear, you can see the stars in the night. So yeah, it's super nice. But yeah, we're gonna finish up this video here. As I said, you'll see uh, tomorrow, the next video uh, will be me exploring Murray and uh, going it, I'm not gonna spoil it. It was an exciting video. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching as always Chase your dreams and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye